All right, I'm on hole number nine of the Skyline Cup Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Let's go to hole number nine. Yeah, this is a tough. Think about that hole right there. I like this hole right here. This hole is my kind of hole. The deal is all of the holes in this tournament, you have a shot if you can put yourself, if you can lay yourself up into the perfect spot. And so it's all about putting yourself in the perfect spot and not, the deal is, is that the perfect spot is not necessarily something that you have to actually, like, hugely go for. I mean, if you watch my videos up to this point, I don't know that I've used any overpower other than where I'm just pushing up against the nub so that I know that I'm not short shooting that curl shot. Sometimes when you put lots of curl on a ball, and we're having to use a lot of curl on this tournament, sometimes when you put lots of curl on there, you'll short shoot it and not realize that you're short shooting it. And so I'm putting up, I've got enough room that I'm putting just a, just a little bit up against the nubs just to make sure I want to balance this out. And I want to be right on that transitional line. It's going to push me 2-2 out into the fairway, so I've got plenty of room out here. I want to put max curl on it. I want to put just a titch of overpower. Just so I know I'm rubbing up against those nubs. The only fear on a grade here is that you bounce and hit right there. So if you can make miss that spot, if you hit that spot, you'll end up in the shot, the fir first shadow, and you can make it from there. It's harder to do with a sniper than it would be if you brought a big dog. So if you're not getting out into the area I'm in right there very often and you're ending up short up here by that first shadow, definitely bring a big dog instead of a sniper. But if you can get forward, anywhere between the, the second shadow and the third shadow, that light, bright area, if you're anywhere in that area, even a little teeny bit short or a little teeny bit far, anything, if you're in that area right there, you've got just a little teeny bit of your, of your sniper You've got enough room to land on the green area before you hit your red line. So you can actually start off on the green side. And if you can start off on the green side, you can really start to dial this shot in. But if you end up out in the rough, in the rough out here, there's you're in big, 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 big trouble. So we have just this little teeny window. Look at how much, just that little teeny bit of space. And so with any kind of tailwind or any kind of wind moving in, a, in that direction, you can really get a good, look at it. Three eight. So with my sniper, that's three point eight rings. And we just need to hit it perfect. And I hit it great to the right. I was trying to snap it off. I was running out of time. <laughs> and that's what a great to the right looks like. That was a pretty hard great to the right. I like my chances with that albatross shot. So I hit that albatross shot earlier in my practice account. And the last tournament we had, I hit it once during the tournament on the weekend round and once during practice. I like the albi shot here, but the whole deal is, is you have to lay yourself up into the perfect spot so that you have that little teeny bit of window on the green side with your sniper and you can really ball guide that thing in. And it hits pretty true. Now, one of the things is I was trying to stay at the bottom. That's why I put that left-hand side spam because I actually wanted to stay at the bottom and work my way back up to the hole instead of trying to use the hill to drop down into the hole. Just threw my stylus. Clipped it with my other hand. And no. Eagle. It's a, in my mind, this hole is a super easy eagle, but it's all dependent, like a lot of holes in this tournament, it's all dependent on that drive. If you blow that drive, you're in big, big trouble, big, big trouble. And so you have to, you have to play it one shot at a time and you have to bring, if you're, if you're taking certain shots, think about like, Hey, 
I'd really like to bring my sniper, but you're not ending up in your sniper range. You're never getting that little window that I got right there. And then quit bringing a sniper and start bringing a big dog. Bring something that's got more power. Bring a guardian. If you can get your guardian over to the other side, its backspin works. But if you're on the other side having to bounce over, the guardian doesn't have enough topspin to get you over. So, you know, don't be afraid to switch up clubs depending on what clubs you have in your bag and what level they're at. All right. That was the uh, front nine of the Skyline Cup. Having a pretty good round so far. I picked one up. And so right now the average score in this tournament is minus 12 per round. So anything you can pick up. And really in my idea, there's six shots that you can pick up on every side. And those shots are the par fours and the par fives. Um, the hole in one, the par threes are just a, a bonus if you get them. They're all makeable, but uh, I'm not really looking at if you count them. And you say, hey, there's only ones there, then there are really seriously are nine, nine holes that you can pick one up. But you have to put yourself in the perfect spot to pick that shot up. All right. That was hole number nine of the Skyline Cup Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. See you on hole number 10. Thanks for watching.